Hey, and welcome back to the workshop. My name is Eon, and this is uh, episode 21 of Building Lieberflip. Today I will continue with part 4 of the wiring. I think I said in some earlier episode that the wiring will only have three parts, but I did overlook uh, this or that, uh, like some small bits and bobs. This, this part is a holder for this tiny air pressure sensor that I bought. This air pressure sensor goes on top of here, like this, and this is the cable holder. This part still needs these feathered inserts, so let's put them in. Tapered side up. And remember to have a small set of small pliers ready, otherwise you will burn your fingers. And the other one. These two things are a bit too high and that was intentional so I can melt them a bit like a rivet and thus fix the air pressure sensor in place like this and if that now cools it's perfectly held in place Time to put them on. And now comes the last step applying this plastic piece in here again with the M3 by 10 screws. This is the air pressure module. And now the air pressure module is ready for mounting. I will use the tiny 4x12 screws to screw this part on. Air pressure sensor is mounted. Let's pull the wire through. Very nice. That looks like a clean-ish cable management. So, and this is the cable for the pressure sensor. And it goes somewhere here. And I will hook that up later after I have consulted Segfold what goes where. The other task for today... You see the whole apparatus has two of these bricks. This one and this one. This one is the PSU for the USB 3 hub over here. And... This one is the PSU of the Odroid, and they both need to go in there, but I didn't want to crack them open and solder something to them, because, again, that would make it the project less DIY friendly. So I bought these products, and I tend to put them on here, like this, and put a cable from here, and attach that cable inside of the junction box here. <laughs> First of all, I will make a new hole in there to pull the two new cables through. One of them goes here, and this is the final length. And the other one I still have to adjust, and I'm not sure yet where it goes. So I'll make it a bit longer, yeah, because I think this one will go up here or over here. I'll see where there is enough space. So let's cut this. And now comes the fun part of wiring. And that is taking off the isolation. I mean, I absolutely hate that. For a single strand, I can just use a tool like that, and that's fine. But for multiple strand wire, I haven't yet found a good tool, especially if it's flat cable. <laughs> By the way, all the cables that I'm using here, I have found in the Seabase trash pile of cables. I haven't bought a single millimeter of a cable for this project, except for the ready-made cables like the USB cables. 
But all the other wiring I made with cabling that's already there, and I've used quite a bit different cables. What does that mean for you? I'll try to write all of that down in the bill of materials. What I think would be perfect. But then I haven't used what I think would be perfect either. I've used what seemed to do the job the best from what we had, or what fit the build closest. These two cables are on spec though. Here I found exactly what I wanted. Now that this is closed, I can say again, and hopefully for the last time, say that the 230 volt part is finished. Let's plug in the things that go in here. So first of all, it's the Odroid one. Let me put this one in here. Good. And now the other one. What remains to be done? Yeah, the air pressure sensor needs to be hooked up. And right now the Arduino is not plugged into the Odroid. And the Odroid does not have any software on it. But apart from that, the electronics and the electrics are... Oh no! Ha! I forgot one thing. This button is still not wired up yet. I still need to do that at some point. I'll put that on the to-do list and let's see. I'll do that later. So I changed my mind and thought, heck, why not, I'll just connect the switch to a cable and I can do the rest later. So this, so I won't forget this. And I, hopefully I don't need a fifth episode of wiring. I believe that looks good. So let's mount the main switch for the user. Okay, so this is the cable for the pressure sensor and that's the cable for the main switch. After I've talked to Segfault, I will know where exactly to connect them to on the Arduino. Let's close this one up and call it a day. Thanks for watching, and if you just made your way into this series, this is just one part of a longer series where I show all the steps how to make this page turning or open source automatic book scanner yourself. If you'd like to never miss an episode of this, please subscribe to this channel and I release new episodes every Thursday. Would love to see you next week.